Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple and today we are covering the fourth video in my current series of how to manage bank feeds and today we're going to talk about sorting and filtering transactions and as you can see we're in the Kathy Bookkeeping Test File in the Banking Center and all the links to the previous videos will be in the comment section so make sure you go to the comment section and watch the other videos in the series i think you will find them all helpful but today we are going to concentrate on this area right here and so that way you can see how you can use this in a huge cleanup as well as making your day-to-day -day tasks so much easier and quicker so first, I'm going to start with the drop down for the dates area. Now you have the ability to search by certain dates, uh, custom dates, or you can click on this drop down right here. And you can actually, if you wanted to isolate for a huge cleanup that you're working on, you can do last year. So let's go ahead and do that for last year. I'm going to go ahead and apply. And as you can see, if you look at the date column, how it's got all these in here and it could be random dates depending on what category you sorted. Right now we're sorted by payee. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the date column and bring up the oldest ones first. And the other thing that's really helpful is as you're going through this, and I talked about this in the last video, go ahead and click on the baby gear. And if you turn on grouping, then it'll show you at a glance how many transactions that you're dealing with for those previous months in the previous year. And also, that's really helpful when you're doing a cleanup to kind of see that. So I'm going to turn the grouping off for now. So anyway, we're going to go on to this next area, which is the drop down to see certain types of transactions. You can sort by matched. You can sort by rule applied. You can sort by missing payee and customer. And this is what I like to do. I like to sort by missing payee or customer, especially if I'm working with a cleanup that's really huge or with a client that may not understand the purpose of assigning a pay to every customer. So you can go ahead and click on that. And what that will do is because we've got some filter turn on, I'm going to go ahead and click on this and we'll talk about this Apple uh, filter in just a little bit. So what happens is when you sort by missing pay your customer, you can see any of those transactions that may not have a payee assigned. And so that way you can go ahead and click on the checkbox here and update those payees if you need to update them all at once or you can do them individually and then apply and accept those however you want to know we talked about some of those things in previous videos as well so and anytime you want to clear out a filter you can just click on the x and that'll bring you back to where you were before and don't forget that if you are filtering by column you're going to actually see the little carrot right here. So right now we're filtered by date or sorted by date and various things like that. So, uh, and, and, and we talked a little bit about that when we did our overview video. So make sure you go back and watch that. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can search by description, check number or amount. And as you can see earlier, when I was testing this out before recording this, I had a filter on for Apple because I have quite a few transactions in here uh, that are tagged with Apple in the bank detail or whatnot. So once you do that, you're going to press enter on your keyboard and that will bring all those transactions up. But what you can also do as well is you can go ahead and sort by payee here. And you can also go back in here and turn on grouping. And then what, what that will tell you is if you're looking at this is if there's pays in here that are assigned incorrectly, then you can go back in here and select those two transactions right here and you can update the payees to the payee so you can put Apple in here and click on that and just do apply and that will go ahead and label those the way they should be labeled. So that's another way that can help you save a lot in your work. I know that was a really short video today. And just remember, these are to help you either in your day-to-day -day tasks or also if you have a huge cleanup to help you isolate some things. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off grouping again. And so that's all I have today. And so I hope you found this really helpful. Y'all take care and have a wonderful day and we will see you really soon.
Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.